Okay, so to recognize me, everybody over here is wearing the same color shirts and the same hats. Um, I am the one, how can you recognize me? Okay, I'm this guy over here. So you can see I've got gray yellow shoes and you can see, if you look at me closer, let me just change the angle and you can see that I'm wearing blue sunglasses, okay? So I know that's weird, but the only way to distinguish between people in this room is either the sunglasses or the length of the trousers or the shoes and the socks. Okay, so you see people have got different shoe color, people have got different sock color. Okay, I'm running out 9.2 really slowly, already done 200 meters, one minute, we just got a like, thank you. Okay, so now I want to look for my friends, okay? So there are 43 people in this run, and I can see Naor is two seconds ahead of me. There, can you see uh, on the list on the right-hand side? Okay, so I'm going to change the camera so it will be ahead, yeah? So you can see me. I'm the last one in this picture. Naor is three places, four places ahead of me. Okay, so I'm going to increase the speed. You can see over here. And I'm going to catch up to him. Okay, so here he is. Uh, again, you can't tell the difference. The only way to tell the difference between us, okay, he's got a beard. Yeah, so this is he's the last one over here. Once again, I'll change the camera angle. Okay, so yeah, the guy with the heavy beard. and the glasses, and the blue shoes, okay? So that's Naor, my friend. And that's the beauty of Zwift, right? So you can dress yourself as cool as you want to, as cool as you can, yes? Because lots of these features you have to score while you run an event. So for example, the blue hat that I'm wearing now, because I've participated in this event before, then uh, you get to keep the hat and use it in other events where they don't determine the, thank you, they don't give you hats, okay? So once again, in this event, everybody's wearing the same hat and the same shorts, okay? So the guy, but you can see differences in the length of the shorts, okay? So we can still control that, okay? So now, thank you. See, we runners give run-ons what they call to each other. And now I'm allowing Naor to set the pace, yeah? So it's a five kilometer run. We've already done four point, we've already done 700 meters. See, and really easy start of the race. I know Naor, uh, We've run many times, and he also, he'll start off easy. Thank you. And uh, as soon as we warm up, then he'll start going crazy. <laughs> and I'll go crazy with him, so that's the beauty of Zwift. He also got a like. Very nice. Okay, so all I want to do right now is to keep up with him. It isn't a race. Let's see what's happening behind us. So there's a whole group of runners behind us. Let's see ahead of us. Okay, so we can see in the corner over there, there's a map. We can see our position. So you can see ahead of us are two runners and we can also see them right over here, yeah? You can see the two runners here and the two runners ahead of us over there on the map.
So, yeah, once again, I'm running next to an hour. It's not a treadmill, so to change moon run. So to alter your speed to run flow fast is like outside. You just, if you want to run fast and you just lean forward and <laughs> increase your running speed. Yeah, it's that simple. So in that respect, it's more natural than a treadmill. Okay, another thing is because of the elastic resistance, your body weight is reduced a little bit. So, um, your effort is pushing forward, okay? But this was less compression, less ground compression on the knee. So that gives you, not only you don't get injured, but it gives you a good feeling after the run. Okay, I see there's this other guy running with us. Mike Abel. Okay, so that's that's the beauty of Zwift, right? So uh, when you see a group of runners running a comfortable speed for you, then you'll run with them. Now the question is, if they increase a little bit, what do you do? Okay, so Mike Abel increased and now Naor increased also, yeah? So, of course, I want to be part of the pack, so I'll increase also. Okay, yeah, okay, so we both increased. Once again, Naor is my mate, so I want to stay with him. But uh, we'll see. Of course, we all react to other people. Okay, so like I said, Naor, as the race goes along, not very steady as far as running speed, which is nice. It's like interval training. So suddenly he'll sprint and then he'll slow down and then sprint and slow down. We're good friends out of the running, so it just adds, you know, it's just cool because you're running with someone that you know makes all the difference in the world, even though he's miles away from here. Today with the internet, you can be anywhere and run together. Okay, so if you haven't noticed, uh, we're in New York City, the application. See the Central Park, you can see the Manhattan ahead of us. The magic worlds of Zwift. So they've got uh, models, virtual models of London, Paris, New York, Richmond. And they've got their own imaginary world called Watopia. Okay, so once again, I'm not even looking at the speed. I'm just running with Noah. So yeah, moon run is not like a treadmill where you'll have constant speed. If you can see the stripe below, the we the speed is like a wave, uh, like when you'd run outside. Once again, you wouldn't have an absolute speed, but you would have some kind of a wave. So even if you increase, there's still a wave. It's just higher up. So. Because we work in cycles, you know, you run fast and slow and fast and slower. And of course, if you're focused, you can try and stabilize it. But what we'll see at the end of the run, so you can see over here the splits. So even though we're not looking at the speed, okay, we're just running according to each other, yeah, pulling each other. Because like I'm influenced by his speed, he's also influenced by my speed. For example, okay, so if it's 10.6 now, let's say I'll increase to 11 and a half, just got a like, 
Let's see what happens. Let's change the camera. Okay. So I increased to 11, above 11, and he increased, okay? So I am influencing him also. It's not just that he's influencing me. That's the beauty of the group run, that you all influence each other. The problem is that if I increase to 11, and then slow down, <laughs> that's a bit funny. It's like, if you want to increase, you have to make sure that you can increase. Okay, so yeah, so we've increased the pace a bit. And you can see in the graph below, the green areas are faster than the blue. And the yellow is faster than the, ah, uh, his increased. There you go, that's what I told you. Did you see that? He just took off. <laughs> no problem. There, you can see when I run fast, faster you go to the yellow, and even faster you get to the red. Okay, that's it. We've increased our pace now significantly to 12. Thank you. At least one, tw uh, 30. Okay, so now our is behind now, he's approaching. Let's uh, try to run steady at 12. And see how Naor will react. Okay, so 12 is in the green. Oops, I talk to you and it goes down to the blue. Let's try and stay in the green. You can see over here, the runners are messaging each other, telling jokes, all these things that get you going. Okay, so yeah, now he's comfortable with a higher speed, which is good. So we're between 12 and 1 right now. Okay, we've approaching halfway mark. So far, so good. It's a slow run for us. Recovery run. You can usually do much better than this. Okay, we just put us on full screen. There he is. Okay, so I slow down a bit because I had to attend to the screen, the monitor. Let's move this aside, it interferes. Okay. There, there it is. So while we're running, we can also connect through video conference, okay? So I could connect with Naor on a video conference. Then we could be good on him, good alike. Then we can, we could be chatting, okay? So actually he's also broadcasting this race on YouTube from his angle, from his point of view. So if you want to, you can check that out also. Compare the quality. Ah. Okay, so yeah, he's increased. 
closer to 12. You can see his speed on the list on the right hand side, okay? So I'm at 502 and he's at 510, okay? So we're all good. Not so fast. We're overtaking someone now. Jay Perez. Does he, will he let us overtake him or will he run with us? Let's see what happens. Yeah, he's running with us, but we are running a bit slower now. Now I'll slow down. It's a bit too slow for me. I prefer to run at 12 and a half, one, one. But we said it's a recovery run. Okay, if the run is, uh, if the other runners are too slow for me, I can do this little trick. And I can take uh, the moon run. Arm, arm handles, okay? Arm resistance handles. Now, what I've done is I've added upper limb resistance to my run, which slows me down because it's more of an effort. Yeah, I have to pull harder, push harder forward. But now, when I catch up to them, I'll feel better with the pace, okay? So there, so if you're running with people and the pace is a bit slow, so Either you speed ahead and run alone, or you grab the armbands, and then it's just as an effort for you to run together with them, and you get the bonus of the upper body workout. Okay, once you're with the arms, you can strengthen the muscles in any direction. Now, he doesn't know I'm with the arms. So if he suddenly sprints ahead, like now, I have to see what he's about, what he's, a, what he's doing. Okay, let's just turn the camera. I can get a better view of it. Okay, there he is, ahead of me. Let's see, if I can run with him with the armbands, I will. If I can't, then I'll let them go. Okay, he's a, yeah, he's a 406, I'm at 407, just have to, okay, he's increased, I'm letting go of the handles because he's running too fast for me. That's okay, in the meantime I've got a little work out. Okay, so 1.4 kilometers to go. We're at the four kilometer mark. Sorry, 3.6 kilometer mark. Let's catch up here. Okay, that's better. I can run like that maybe for 20 seconds. Hey, someone alive. So with us, if you did not know, like, we're trying to run next to me. There. Look, there, that's me. Okay, but I'll also give the runner with us one scene. Give him one also. Be nice to run with us. Thank you. There, Ken Weinstein. Give us a like that. Where's Nard? 
Yes, come on now. Okay, nice little group over there. Let's change the camera. Front view. And also change the camera angle. So there. After all, okay, so seven hundred meters. Let's run together with Nor. I want to be in a spread. Okay, now it's a competition. Okay, we're 16, 14, 15. Five hundred meters. What kind of a fight will you give me? Three hundred meters. Well, I can't let him get ahead of me because then I'll have no chance. Okay, two hundred and fifty meters. The race is on. Pretty steady, 70. Okay, 100 meters, let's go. Wow. Thanks. No. For a great run. Thanks, Swift. For a great run. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.